Okay, hello everyone. Uh, over here I have an Uhler control unit. I've had this one for about two and a half years. Uh, at this point, uh, it sounds like the fan or something's getting kind of loud. I'm assuming it's just kind of filled with junk that needs to be cleaned out. So I figured uh, I would take a look, see if the cleaning helps first. And uh, there was only one other video about how to get inside one of these. And while it was helpful, uh, I think it was just a little less detailed than it could have been. So I was going to go through here and uh, show you how you get inside your control unit in case you wanted to clean it out. So um, the first thing you actually need to do is, is get out this, uh, this cover. So the front cover goes right about here and then down. This is definitely the scariest step, uh, but it is the necessary first one. There's three screws right here that just need to get unscrewed. They're just Phillips head, nothing special there. And then the reason why this step is scary is after you get these uh, screws out, there are retention clips all over this front cover. So you can start to pry it. It helps if you uh, have the flat end. And just be gentle, this is plastic after all. But you can start prying in here, start getting it off. Once you get one side, it gets easier from there. So there's one side, there's the other. And I'll show you what these clips look like in more detail. Now to get this out, really the best thing you can do is kind of push up and out and uh, I haven't found a better way and it comes out like so so kind of on the diagonal so here's the uh, here's the pain in the butt so over here you can see we have a retention clip right there and these line it up same thing with this side retention clip lines up and then the top just to keep things in you have these little pegs they're kind of hard to see but you have these little pegs on the center in each end there we are. So those keep it lined up vertical and then you have these pieces sticking out below that kind of line up over here. So that's why you have to do that diagonal pulling out motion. Now for the most part, if I was going to clean this on the regular, um, I would only need to remove the cover because this gives you access to the most important parts in the Uhler. Uh, so as you can see the fans in here, my fan is very dirty, especially underneath it. That's where I'm really gonna be doing the cleaning. Right on those um, cooling lines, there's just so much dust caked in and I'm gonna try to uh, to get out. But there's some dust certainly around the uh, circuit boards as well uh, that I'm gonna get some compressed air and do my best with. But this top cover can also come off and uh, it's not a bad thing to do. It's much easier. So if we turn this over the only screws we need to worry about are the two right here, and then there's gonna be two in the front that we'll get to afterwards. Okay, so two screws out there, and then we have two screws in the front. So one on this side, one on that side. Now, when you remove the cover, be very careful. As you can see, there's a circuit up here for your controls up top that has a, a little clip right here. You don't wanna strain that. So after you pull this off, you're gonna to wanna to pull it that way and be uh, gentle with it. Nothing, really the only thing you have to um, put some effort in is that front cover. This comes off really smooth. Uh, there's no need to pull hard on anything here. Obviously you don't wanna break it. The system's not cheap, nor is it cheap to repair. You can see already my, my desk is just full of dust. Um, just from opening this put those screws back there and then uh, like I said we could just pull this up you can of course um, I think the easiest way go back to the flat head screwdriver and just in these little holes the vent holes you can use that to kind of hold it up there are two retaining clips either side they're not nearly as strong as the front cover so they come right out there's one There's two, and like I said, gently we'll go forward, make sure none of these uh, electronic components are strained. Um, so 
the video online that talked about the inside of the Uller unit had one of the older generation ones. Let me talk about some of the, the few things that were kind of improved upon for reliability while we have this open. Uh, so as you can see, the wires over here, those are taped down. Um, not necessarily scientific, but uh, you know, it, it stops them from rubbing against the top of the control unit, which is good. Uh, zip tied over here, just to try to keep everything tight. I think the bigger one, this, these tubes now have some insulation on them in this retaining plastic right there. And uh, I guess a common issue is people were getting cracks in those tubes. It must've been rubbing on something somewhere. Um, so they put these this little protection on it to keep those tubes in good shape without any uh, cracking or anything. And uh, with that in mind, like I said, now you could go through, you can clean the front fan you could also clean the side fins, try to get some dust out of there. This is essentially just one big radiator for cooling and there's the fan in the front. I don't really have compressed air with me at the moment. Um, I didn't think I was gonna be filming the video, but I figured this was uh, worthwhile for people to see. So I'll clean it up the best I can without really having compressed air here. And uh, I'll show you how to put it back together. Okay, let's begin the reassembly process. I did a really brief cleaning of the uh, Uller system, used a vacuum and uh, some, some uh, tweezers to grab out some pieces of dust. Um, so we're gonna put it back in the reverse order. Now, all of those screws are the same size, so um, you don't necessarily have to keep track of which ones came from where, but it's always recommended that you do. So we pull up the lid first. Uh, again, being very careful about that clip at the front. And then you can line that up. Again, making sure nothing is gonna push too hard in the electronics. That's the fragile stuff. And then you can just sneak in one retaining clip on the left side. Boom. And then the other one on the right side. Excellent. At this point, the cap should line up with the lid, if you have a big gap here, then something must not be lined up. Uh, from there, we'll put those two screws back in on the front. Excellent, two screws screwed in. Then we will uh, flip the unit over, again, being careful, the electronics in the front. Two screws in the back. Perfect. Put the unit back forward. And then the way you get this in is actually easier than getting it off. All you need to do is line up the unit so that uh, it goes into place and you just push it forward. Now you gotta make sure that these uh, retaining clips down here are under this little lip and that these ones are above, but it's meant to just be pushed into place. This is meant for uh, simple manufacturing, not necessarily simple maintenance. But you line it up, and you just push them into place like that. Easy, much easier than getting it out. Uh, then we can flip it over. Remember you have those retaining clips on each side. So you just gotta push those in. One, two, not bad at all. And then at that point, the three screws are perfectly lined up. So while I screw in these uh, final screws, uh, hopefully the quality of the video is fine. Uh, this is just a quick thing I threw together. Uh, it's kind of like a, a nice PSA for people. Um, I certainly didn't put a lot of effort into the editing and all that. Oh, one additional thing that uh, Uller support told me about. If your Uller is not cooling the water, it's just circulating it without cooling, there's this reset hole. And uh, over here, I just have a paper clip I bent into a, a straight shape. You can push down in this hole for three seconds. And uh, the button is not very clicky. Uh, it's very soft, but as long as you're pushing on it, you're pushing, uh, you are holding down the button. 
Um, and that kind of resets uh, a safety sensor that, that monitors the temperature of the water. Sometimes that gets tripped up on accident. Sometimes it's for a bigger reason. So uh, if it was on accident, you hit the reset and it resets, then great. Maybe that solves your problem. Um, if it doesn't fix it or if it goes off again, you probably have something more serious. And uh, just a simple reset's not going to do it for you. Hopefully the deep clean is all you need. And uh, that was able to help you out. So um, have a good one.